Series B36, normally open, brass valve. This valve is a differential pressure valve in a normally open configuration. Um, it has the coil voltage molded inside here, shows 24 DC in this particular case, and the label on the front here. There's also a arrow on the body showing a direction of flow, inlet and outlet. Uh, the valve comes complete with an LED connector plug, which is mounted on the actual valve like that. And the wires go in there. When the power goes on, we have a little light comes on inside there to indicate power present. Now the valve itself is a normally open differential so that it's used for pump pressure and mains air pressure. Um, the differential valve has a smaller coil and allows you to have a higher pressure range. This particular series which goes from quarter inch to two inch B36 uh, has a 16 bar pressure range. Now the valve also has a minimum differential which means that it requires a minimum of 0.3 of a bar for this particular size um, which is at the pressure assists the diaphragm to open and if that differential is not there a minimum differential of 0.3 of a bar which is about 7 psi 6 psi if it's not there then the valve will remain closed it won't leak but the actual diaphragm is held closed by the actual spring assistance inside the valve itself if we take this valve apart, we can see how it works. The shroud which goes over the head, and inside here is the operator assembly. Normally open, of course, means that the actual valve, when there's pressure present, will be held open and the liquid will be flowing through the valve with no power applied. When the power is applied, the liquid stops flowing through the valve. Inside this head, there's the operator assembly. Um, which is built inside here and this operator is a normally open operator which means it is held open and pushes down to close, closes off this little armature assembly orifice inside here. The armature and spring units are up inside that head. It comes through here through a gallery up into the top of this head and this armature opens and closes and allows the liquid to go down through this pilot hole in the side and operate the diaphragm. It either relieves the signal off the diaphragm, the pressure on the top which allows the differential to push the diaphragm open or it blocks it off which puts, puts more air, uh, liquid or air pressure onto the diaphragm which then closes it off. So it's either bleeding it off or blocking it off and pressurizing it. The actual head comes off. Underneath here is the main section of the valve which has the diaphragm assembly with the spring that assists it to be closed. We take this assembly out to have a look at it. There's the seat, brass seat in the valve, rubber seat here and the backing, stainless steel backing ring on the top.